I'm Tim, welcome to Watch One, and thanks for logging on. Well, this is a familiar face. We're looking at the Linda Verdelin Spidalite 2, but with a little bit of assistance, I'm going to show you the Spidalite 2 like you've never seen it before. If this isn't exactly a tool watch in the strictest sense, remember, Linda Verdelin is about pushing the boundaries. They're about modernist statements, not just aesthetically and in materials sense, but in a very literal technical sense. And now, a tool watch like you've never seen it before. Fully equipped for the 21st century sportsman. This is the Linda Verdlin Land Instrument, better known as the Rock. In the past, a tool watch would have been something like this Porsche Design Diver built by Eterna. A capable instrument, it features a unidirectional internal rotating dive bezel, but that's all. Now that might have been appropriate by the standards of the 1970s, but the bottom line is, with everything that's available through integrated microcircuitry, you'd really be at a disadvantage to take anything less than the best, skiing or diving. And skiing is where the rock comes in. Now you can see everything from the power save mode to the multi-figure reconfigurable display makes this a true no compromise, zero novelty sporting instrument, just as the Reef is a true dive computer in the modern sense. On my wrist, six and a third inches, 16 centimeters, you can see that this completely transforms the look and utility of the essential Spidolite. Now, 22 millimeters thick, it's also a burly 50 by 53 millimeters across and in height. So this one has a lot of presence, but that's what you want when legibility is key and at a premium. Now, 44 grams entirely in anodized aluminum. This is not a plastic device, and it doesn't have a plastic crystal. The crystal itself is mineral, more durable than sapphire, and more shatter resistant. It's also more scratch resistant than something like acrylic or plexiglass. So Linda Verdlin kind of threads the needle in terms of materials and durability, making it both light and durable at the same time. But it is the user interface that sets this one apart, giving you effectively smartwatch functionality while still having a Swiss made mechanical timepiece underneath. Now waking it back up again, you can see the power saver mode. I have all the essential information I want, battery life. I have elapsed time during this particular mission split. I have the temperature, I have the time, and I have nine separate configurable displays. I have that first uh, configurable multi readout, which I can actually stack with as many individual data points and data types as I like. And then I have the altimeter, which you can see puts me 17 meters above sea level. I have a barometer, and I can actually go into it and see the barometric pressure over time as I've been hiking or skiing, and I can actually see if rough weather is moving in. Moreover, I can set it so that if I please, I can even see the proximity to weather events that might portend snowfall, that might portend thunderstorm, that might portend, portend violent winds, and I can set the alarm function of the watch to track that particular barometric level and let me know when I'm approaching it. Now, in a similar sense, the watch even features a thermometer with a programmable frostbite warning, so it can warn you when the temperature is dropping to the danger zone, and as if that weren't enough, there's even an avalanche warning in a subsequent screen that I can show you. Now, there are graphs displaying features like temperature over time and barometric pressure over time if you do want to keep track. And this is along the lines of what you'd see if you were to open up the data files that the watch produces for the individually demarcated splits that you create using the logging function. More on that in a moment. Now moving through the menus, you can see there is a freezing temperature altitude that is set based on the barometric pressure and temperatures wherever you are. So this is a reconfigurable display that the computer updates over time to keep a pace with real-time current events. And moreover, it features a built-in compass. Now I can actually see what my bearing is, and I can see the cardinal directions at any time using this compass. So it's useful for navigation as well. Now as promised, there is an avalanche warning system built in, and it's actually activated by this inclinometer. Now what I do is I can track the incline that I'm on, and I can determine based on weather settings and advisories for whatever location I'm in, I can lock it like so. And when I lock it, it'll actually determine the avalanche angle at which to warn me. So if I approach that particular incline, it will tell me that an avalanche is a realistic threat or even imminent. And it'll do so with a graphical warning and with the alarm. Now the watch features a 
chronograph, and it's a bit of an entertaining piece because it's a multifunction chronograph within a multifunction instrument. So I start it up, and now it's running. I can log multiple chronograph splits, so it's also a split second chronograph, and I can create individual splits that I can use for any number of applications. But let's say a rat trapant's not enough for you. You can split the seconds up to four times within your log and keep track of each individual leg. So whether you're just using it for kicks at the beach during a barbecue or you're actually skiing competitively, the Linda Verdlin land instruments actually got something for you. Now I can stop it and I can reset it and just like that I can exit to the primary menus. And finally all of the information you've just seen can be recorded in individual logs. And these individual logs show the time at which they were created and they have individual numeric IDs. Now each one of these information packets, as you can see, can be linked and downloaded to your PC. So if you're a data junkie and you like to keep track of where you've been and what you've done, everything from the temperature, the altitude, the barometric pressure, the inclines that you traversed will be recorded in these individual packets of information. And if you were using the chronograph during those periods, any individual splits that you recorded will also be extractable. This is an incredibly user-friendly device. Everything from the power save function, which gives it almost 100 hours of autonomy when fully charged, it is a lithium ion battery, to the alarm, which can be reconfigured to serve multiple purposes, to the clever use of a click sound that's synthesized. It's not a mechanical click, it's actually a speaker issued audible signal created electronically. It's just very intuitive, very user friendly. If it does have a little bit of a early 90s Game Boy look to it, that's because there's still a necessity to provide just the essentials in as clear cut a fashion as possible. Now it does feature 32 megabytes of solid state internal memory and it does have a 8-bit processor built into it, so it is a computer in a sense able to log information, store it, and update itself via an uplink to Linda Verdlin's proprietary database. It does evolve over time, so it's not static like those old Game Boys. It may have that look, but it doesn't have that one-and-done update sensibility. Its capabilities do grow over time, and that's part of the fun of having this modular add-on to a mechanical watch. Now, it's easily removed, and we're back to the essential 21st century oversized luxury mechanical sports watch look. The nice thing about all the Linda Verdlin watches is that they will interface with either the Rock or the Reef. So even though the Spido series is considered to be the land sports watch series at Linda Verdlin, and the land instrument is its natural companion, you can absolutely put the reef on this one and go diving. They do have that versatility and again the interface system that they use is universal to these instruments. Everything about this is clever. Everything about this is user-friendly, intuitive. It's a durable piece and this is the second generation model introduced as of 2009 so the capabilities are vastly improved over the first generation land instrument. If you're doing a little bit of research about these on the internet, be sure to educate yourself concerning the latest edition because the capabilities are vastly expanded and Linda Verdlin is adding new capability all the time. You can see the Rock, the Linda Verdlin Land Instrument, and our entire collection of Linda Verdlin luxury watches on our website, watchyouwant.com.